My friend Nick is a pro bike mechanic and bike shop owner with over 20 years of experience. In today's episode, we're gonna go over 20 things that he loves. Fenix all condition chain lube. There's loads of alternatives out this good, but it just works well. It's not very thick, applies easy, keeps your chain lube, no worrying about wet and dry, works for everything, and it washes off easily. Does that mean it washes off easily in the rain as well though? No, it's all conditions, wet and dry. But it's just, uh, if you use degreaser on it, it comes clean. It's got clean. me there. Footlock water bottles. Magnetic. So firstly, your bike looks cleaner. No uh, bottle cages sticking out. They do quite a few different bottles. This is a standard road one. They do one for gravel that's got a lid on, so all the mud doesn't get into your mouth when you try and eat. Sorry, drink from it, so you're not just gonna die from eating all the dirt that's out there. They also do a titanium version. There's titanium on the inside, squeezable. Um, just lovely bottles. Uh, I've crashed probably about 70 times. Never fallen off. Did you say you crashed 70 times? I crashed, we worked at Cutler and Elder about 70 times. Seven, zero. zero. The Vielo R plus one frame set seat post. Uh, it comes with a cam tail seat post, which is quite nice, looks smart, bit more aero, um, also extra comfy. But with the shim that they've developed, you can drop it in and a normal 30.9 seat post, including my dropper post, fits into the same frame. So just cleverly designed, extra small things I've thought about, um, and I just like that. So the advantage to this is that if you don't want to use a seat post, you've got an NVC post, a zip seat post, anything else, that can also work. Wireless dropper seat post. Um, I know it's controversial, but I just really enjoy mine. Uh, on my gravel bike, I've got to set up fairly aggressively, but if it gets a bit steep, the downhills or technical, I can just drop it down. Also massively enjoy descending. Uh, on the weekend road, six kilometers down, you'll just drop the dropper post and it's, it's almost like the, the illegal super tuck, which is on the saddle, so it's legal. Um, I'm actually using it on my road bike as well now. So yeah, just drop a post. Wireless, better, because you don't have to cable anything through, it just pops in, pops out. Works on all my bikes. Silker tubeless sealant. This stuff is amazing. There's always been a close race between all the different big container stands, Effetta Mariposa, all really good stuff, but if you had a road bike, and pressure's a bit high, you used to pop out the seal, so it just didn't work for road bikes. We actually didn't do road bike sealing for quite a while. But this stuff will seal seven mil up to 100 PSI. Um, it's got carbon fiber strands in it, so it forms like a little nest where your hole would be, um, and then seals it up, just much better. And then they do a replenisher, so every, that's 90 to 120 days, you just top it up with that, three top ups. Since I started using this seven months ago, I've not plugged a single tubeless tire, and I've not had a single puncture. No more front max. Uh, Shimano, SRAM, they both brought them out. They both do a really good job. Narrow wide chaining, but it's just easier. You don't have to worry about a front mag. Cross chaining, gears overlapping, that's just not a thing anymore. One side of your bike cleavers with SRAM makes it harder, the other side makes it easier. Uh, Shimano, obviously you only use one lever, but upshift, easier, downshift, harder. You don't have to worry about what your front mag's doing. Uh, there's an aerodynamic theory. I don't know if that's a big thing because your foot goes past where the front mag goes, but just lighter, it's easier, less to worry about. What is narrow wide? Narrow wide is one tooth is narrow, one tooth is wide. It fits perfectly within your chain, because if you look inside a chain from the top, there's a small gap, big gap, small gap, so it just means your actual chain interface with the chain ring is much better, um, and it's less likely to drop off. One by on road bikes, I'm just not feeling it. Unless you're a professional cyclist, racing, world tour, you don't need all the gears a two by is giving you. I'll be the judge of that. You can ride on-road, off-road, do both in one ride, it can do anything. Big tire clearance, you can put big tires, but also you want to put skinny 28 mil tires on. One by, two by, carbon fiber, steel, alloy, they come in all models. They're light, you can get ones with aero handlebars, which was on here, you don't have any more. Uh, it just does everything. If you're not sure what bike to get, and you're gonna only have one bike, buy a gravel bike. If you've got loads of money to buy loads of bikes, buy everything if you wanted to, but a gravel bike, can do almost anything. Finally, something we agree on. <laughs> Integrated cable routing through the handlebars. Apart from looking really neat, that's gonna make sure that I always have a job uh, because it's an absolute nightmare to do. Most people are not doing it at home and it's gonna cost you a fortune when your headset needs a service. So, I mean, Catherine gets to go to a good school. I win, obviously you don't win, apart from it looking really neat. Um, but yeah. 
uh, integrated cable routing. The future. I grew up riding on the road with 19 mil Contis, went up to 21 mil, went up to 23 mil, and we thought that was fast. Nowadays, I like 30 mil, if you're slightly skinnier, probably do 28. Uh, anything below that, just why would you? Gravel bikes, also, bigger the better. These are 45s on here, love these tires. Uh, I'm quite excited. 700 by 50 is becoming quite popular now for gravel as well. I ride uh, Terravel Rutlands uh, 650B, uh, 2.1 inch, and they are just the best tires I've ever ridden. Um, don't stick in the mud, rolls perfectly fine, just so much more comfortable. Uh, yeah, big tires. Art saver, fender bender. Now, it's no secret, I absolutely hate mud guards. <laughs> if you really, really, really had to have one, get the art saver fender bender. It just keeps you dry. Obviously, everybody behind you will still be wet, but that's their problem. They're easy to put on, really easy to put off. So, yeah, it's just a lot less faff and I love mine. $12.95 just works. It works better than anything else out there. If I never see a mud guard again in my entire life in that shop, I'll be the happiest man alive. What are you the mud guards? <laughs> They just, they just doesn't, yeah, it's just a nightmare. No, 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 I'm South African. We don't have rain where I come from. JGM Atalaya frame set. I, I've ridden thousands of bikes. Every bike we service, test ride. I've had loads of bikes. I've been sponsored bikes, I've bought bikes, but I love it. That, that's just the nicest bike I've ever owned. It's a Dutch brand, a titanium frame set, gravel, can take 700C wheels, 650B wheels. It's indestructible, comes with a 100 year warranty, and it's just so comfortable. And in my opinion, just the most beautiful bike ever made. What about that? Obviously this is my second favorite, but Jimmy won't let me ride it. Two batteries, keys. I can't believe I've just found out that Nick rides my bikes after he services them. Pops on, pops off. If you've got it on your front mech, rear mech, drop a post, they're interchangeable. If for some reason you forget to charge them, just swap them around. Uh, they last between 35 and 60 hours, takes about an hour and a half to charge. They're light, if you go bike packing, you need more, you can carry a spare one. Uh, they've just released a four battery charger. Future of electronic groups, it's gonna be removable batteries. But I thought you wanna get rid of front mechs. That's where you keep your spare battery, isn't it? My drop a post. He's got me there, isn't he? He's got me there. Tram and Compact Speed Kit. Instead of just a hose and a cup like Shimano is using, theirs actually have an interface with the brake calipers and it just makes bleeding a lot easier and a lot more precise. Um, much quicker for me to do in the workshop. Hawk Tool AWS 10, or otherwise known as their standard multi-tool. That's just an incredible bit of kit. I use it so much. Um, used it 20 years now, it just works. Uh, very well machined. Very unlikely that you can run the bolts with it. Yeah, that's probably the most important tool a bike mechanic can own. Ceramic speed wheel bearing press. The thread on it's got a quick release, so you don't have to thread it for ages and ages to press something in and then thread it all the way out. It's just slide it on, click it, tighten it, loosen it, unclip it, and it's off. It makes my life so much easier. It's very well made and just works really well. But it's mega expensive at 850 quid. Yeah. Wow, it's, it sounds like it saves you about four seconds per BB press. Wow! Wheel press. Wheel press, wow! <laughs> Endero XT15 bearings. They make bottom brackets, headset bearings, they've even released jockey wheels now. Long story, they found out what Boeing uses in their wings and in their flaps. The bearings, they obviously need to last ages so the airplanes don't crash. They use the same stuff in this. Different to all other ceramic babies, these come with a lifetime unlimited warranty, meaning you can put dirt in there if you wanted to, never ever service them, uh, and they've got no problem. If it ever goes wrong, they'll give you a new one. Where with a lot of other ceramic bearings, there's a lot of conditions to what the warranty entails. These are just unbelievably good, and also not too expensive. 229 quid for bottom bracket. <laughs> uh, sorry. I like how uh, most people say long story, long story short, Nick just says long story and then tells you the long story. <laughs> bike radars, like this Garmin one, it's just a game changer. Got on the back of your bike, it's a rear light that actually senses cars on your head unit. It tells you how far they are, if they're coming, how fast they're coming up to you. So it's just a good warning, but also some of them, for instance this one, 
the lights will flash brighter when a car is coming, so it's just a bit safer. This one's got the added bonus of a camera in there, so it'll record, car passes you too quick, submit it to the police, and they'll get a fine. A few of our customers have actually submitted their footage and have been told the driver's been fined. So yeah, um, if that makes roads a bit safer over time, good better kids. Time Bicycles Carbon Layup. That's probably one of the companies making carbon frames that are doing it different to everybody else. Uh, there's quite a few good videos online, but they essentially spin their carbon on a loom. They can put Kevlar in it or Denima, a few different things to make it stronger. And it's like a sock. So instead of having loads of layers of carbon on top of each other glued together, it's a solid round structure around the, the molds that they use. They also use cold injection uh, molding, so it's not going into an oven getting heated up and it's just incredibly strong and incredibly well made. Tubeless plug kit and Restrap's actual tie boot kit. It's just really good bit of stuff. No more do you have the thing with inner tubes, you have to take your wheel off, get the dirty chain off, find the hole, remove the glass, take your inner tube out, put a new inner tube in, hope that you've got everything out that is causing the puncture, inflate it, hope you haven't pinched your inner tube, having it explode on you all over again. All you now is puncture, Yes, sealant hasn't sealed. Tire plug in, out, off you go. Tire boot keeper restrap is a clever thing. If you had to cut your tire for some reason, you can actually glue a patch on the inside of the tire, inflate it again, get yourself home. Bike luggage. You get frame bags, top tube bags, fork bags, seat packs. Just makes bike packing a lot easier, but also just for everyday riding on my gravel bike, I like having, my frame bag never comes off. Got a waterproof jacket in there, I've got Snickers bars, I've got chocolates, I've got gels, I've got, uh, my earphones, I've got money, I've got tools. Just, it's like a handbag on your bike. Do you just hear him say that? He puts money, he puts money inside. I have to be honest, the first thing I was thinking when he was saying all the stuff that is in his bags, that I need to go raid his bag. Mm. Food, Snickers. food and money. Snickers money. I don't think South African Rand is very useful over here, but I mean, if you want to come in here. These are 20 of my favorite products. Thanks for watching and comment down below your favorite bike products. Yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs>